The Baltimore Museum of Art wants to show there's much more to African art than just traditional masks and wooden statues. Every work of art opens multiple doors of conversation. So one of the things I like about having this smaller gallery of contemporary works right here beside our larger gallery of historic ones is that it enables people to, to make those connections, to have visitors understand that artists in Africa continue to create. Let me show you these works by Gavin Yentes then. Um, these are works that, as I mentioned, are part of a, a series. There are 11 parts to it, and it's called a South African coloring book. I wanted visitors who are from Baltimore to think about um, the relationship of things happening in the United States to the things that happened in South Africa in 1960. Here you have peaceful demonstrators who were met with police violence. We had a similar situation here in the wake of Freddie Gray's death when protesters in 2015 uh, were demonstrating and there was quite a clash with police. And I wanted them to think about the lasting struggles that we have across nations uh, with issues of equity and police violence. South African artist Diane Victor's fragile images created with just smoke from a candle have drawn many visitors. This is what's so spellbinding. And the way she created it was by taking paper and holding it over a candle and slowly moving the paper and collecting the carbon deposits. The subjects that she chose to depict are frail as well. Prisoners, people who become incarcerated, and then we just don't think about what happens to them thereafter. Children who go missing and we don't know what happens to them. The museum hopes these pieces will remind visitors of the diversity of work emanating from the continent across all eras. Of course, there's still plenty of traditional African art here, but this new collection is all about showcasing contemporary African artists. Kate Fisher, CGTN, Baltimore.